second trimester we are in it that's crazy it's like time is flying they say that your pregnancy goes by really fast and Mm -hmm. that you should really enjoy it because time goes like that and at first i was like yeah yeah that's what they all say i mean nine months is a long time right it is actually flying i am 22 weeks pregnant already that is crazy and you're really starting to show now yeah we're pregnant we're pregnant we're having a baby Compared to the first trimester, you know, I didn't really have much of an appetite. Right. I had food aversion. And so it's so different from this stage right. being in the second trimester because I have more energy. I'm certainly hungry, like, all the time. I think I've, like, hit the phase where I just want to eat, 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 because that is all I think about. I'm just, I can agree. I'm always hungry. Definitely, there has been a lot of changes since the first trimester I mean, obvious, the one that you just talked about is the belly. I mean, yeah. like baby is growing. I'm getting to a point where my clothes are no longer fitting. I can't fit any of my jeans now. <laughs> I can't Man, that fit is any crazy. of my jeans. Like they fit in the thighs. I can get when, them all the way up. When would you waist. say was the turning point mm-hmm. for like when you really started to feel different as far as physically, like yeah. seeing the belly grow? So two, two moments. So... The first, well, no, and not any particular order, but one of the moments was when we had date night and we went to the movies Mm. and I was putting on different outfits. I was like, oh, I think I'm going to wear this. Oh, no, maybe I'll wear that. You know, I like to try on a million different things before I pick the outfit. (laughs) If if we have reservations at eight, please believe she needs to start getting ready at like 630. (laughs) It's just because I'm indecisive and I want to try on too many outfits. But I was trying on a whole bunch of jeans and none of them would fit. And I was like, yo, I am like really, really pregnant out here. Mm -hmm. And my belly is grown before, you know, in the third trimester. I'm sorry, the third month, second month, I could still fit all of my clothing comfortably. Mm -hmm. So it didn't really I was still just kind of going through the everyday motions. But when it was time to go to the movies and I had one pair of jeans, some high waist denim jeans that had a lot of stretch because they just run a little big. I put those on and I was like, okay, this will work. And we got into movie theaters and I sat back. I was like, yeah, the button is coming undone. Can't do it. <laughs> and I literally had my button down the whole time, but I had on a um, body suit. So, okay. so that instance. Okay. And then the second would be, the baby's just activity. Oh, yes. Him moving around so much. Like he, around the 20 week mark, they say, or anywhere between like the 17 and 20 week mark, yeah. you start to notice like the butterflies and things like mm-hmm. that. And I did feel my first butterfly around like week 17, but now it is full blown movement. Yeah. And I remember that when the first time that you felt movement Mm -hmm. you were like oh my god yeah i just felt jordan move i just felt jordan move and you were so excited and that was like every hour like and not even like not even every hour he moved he's moving now like he just moves around a lot and it's crazy because it just went from not feeling that at all then finally feeling that after like 17 18 weeks Mm -hmm. and now it's like happening all the time all the time and i remember the first time that i felt it because you had you had felt it yourself right um many weeks before i was able to feel it from the outside mm-hmm. and you wanted me to feel it so bad and <laughs> because like, it was just so weird <laughs> you're, to you're me like, you're like shay shay put your <laughs> put your head right here no right here right here <laughs> because i was like somebody needs to feel what i am feeling and I was like, like i'm trying i'm pushing down too i'm like you you want me to put right here okay i got you and i would put my hand right there and i wouldn't feel anything and she'd be like you, you seriously don't feel that? Yeah. You don't feel that? Because he was he was too small for you yeah. to feel any movements, but big enough for me to feel it. And yeah. I guess I really wanted you to <laughs> experience what I was experiencing right. in that moment. But uh, that was like the first like two, three weeks of when you, fir- when you first felt it. Mm-hmm. I couldn't feel it yet. Yeah. But then I felt it. Mm-hmm. And it just, I felt the kick on my hand and it just made it that much more real. Yeah. It made it that much more real. Like, there is a baby human growing inside of you. Yes. And I know it's real to you every day because you're the one experiencing the labor. Mm-hmm. But for me, it was like, oh, my God, like I actually Could had feel contact. the life inside. I of, had contact yeah. with baby Jordan mm-hmm. already. And that was a really cool moment for me yeah. to really feel that. Right. Yeah. And, and speaking of movements and moments, 
going into that a little bit deeper, outside of just feeling his movements more, I'm starting to know his patterns as well. Mm. And it's so crazy because these things just start to happen over time. You start to understand like, okay, baby's up now. Okay, baby's going to be kind of sleeping around this point. And my sister had pointed out this really good thing. She was like, you move, you guys move around and walk around so much. And I'm like, I never feel him kick when I'm walking. And she's like, yeah, that's because he's sleeping when you're walking around. And then the minute you go to lay down or sit down, Mm. it's just, he's literally in there just moving Mm. and she was like so when you're up and walking and active that's probably very soothing to him and he's sleeping and then when you're tired and you're ready to lay down he's up like okay let's do this and he has been doing that and i noticed that he's more active at night than he is in the more than he is throughout the day Mm. so when i'm ready to wind down and it's like 8 p.m he is just full-fledged in the belly ready to go like he's starting his day so that is also indicating to me that, you know, when he enters this world, more than likely his sleeping pattern is going to be that he's sleeping throughout the day and a little active at night. So we'll have to adjust, (laughs) adjust to to that and drink a good amount of coffee. (laughs) I know we're going to have to, we're going to have to figure that one out. (laughs) Um, So one thing that our audience members would probably be interested to know, how does that movement feel? How Mm -hmm. does the kicks and stuff feel like, obviously it's 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 very shocking the first couple right. of times it's happening but like physically is it it does it hurt mm-hmm. is it uncomfortable right does it feel like butterflies how does it feel so so the whole it feels like butterflies fluttering in your stomach to me i didn't get that feeling hmm. it's more so it's weird but it's exciting at the same time just to start off with that but it feels like it's a little worm moving around in your stomach and for mm. me i'm like oh that's kind of freaky but yeah because i know that it's our son my mind is starting to shift from that and it's just like okay jordan is really active but in the beginning it was very much like it just felt like there was like a worm or or something and at first i thought it was gas because i'm like it just you know how when you have your stomach is kind of bubbling a little bit like from gas i thought it was just gas at first and i'm like but I'm not gassy. Uh-huh. So it has to be the baby. Interesting. <laughs> so that's what it felt like initially. Now it feels like I can kind of tell when, like, I don't know if it's a extremity, like an arm or a leg or anything. I can't really decipher between that, but I can tell if it's like his butt or his head. And it's so weird because it'll just be like a hard knot at one point wow. and then it'll shift and loosen up. And I'm like, okay, I think he's rotating. I think he's that's twisting and turning. So that, And then also there are times where I do feel a little bit of pressure. Mm -hmm. So it's not pain or um, discomfort or anything, but there is a little bit of pressure because he sits so low that he's right on um, like my bladder, I guess. And just like putting some pressure on my pelvic floor. Mm. You know, and that's interesting because you're only five months, five and a half months now. Imagine what the kicking and, and everything's going to be like at I eight, know, nine months. I know. And I've, I've already talked to people who said, like, it gets even more intense. I know. My sisters so. say, like, you can feel like a hand push out like that or a foot just yeah. an elbow or his foot. So. And that is going to be very interesting when that happens. It really will be. <laughs> if you have already given birth or if you <laughs> are going through the experience right now and you're currently going through this, drop a comment down below. And let us know your experience with the movement of your baby boy yeah. or baby girl. And definitely if you've already had a kid, how was it like an eight, eight month, nine month period? Because we're entering that soon to be. Yeah. Coming soon. Coming soon. And we want to know. We, yeah. We wanna, well, we want to know what, <laughs> what to expect exactly. in, in the third trimester. Exactly. But, but all this is really exciting. It is very, very exciting. Um, a few more things that I wanted to discuss. Let's do it. As far as changes in the second trimester for me. Um, and this is a plus for me. Not maybe not everybody. But I've noticed that just because of the increased hormones, my breasts have gotten larger. Oh, you know, okay. enlarged breasts. So, and is this me, this is a good thing for you? For me, it's a good thing. It's you a, know, it's I a good thing for me too. We, part we, of the small we, club, <laughs> and so I'm happy to be moving on up. You know, <laughs> so um, that's nice. But you know, as your belly's growing, your breasts are growing. That means you have to shop for clothing. Yeah. So I am now in that stage where 
like I said, my jeans don't fit. Uh -huh. You know, things are starting to get a little uncomfortable. So now I have to start shopping for clothes that are that are more comfortable uh, for me and the baby. Because, of course, you know, it's it's more than just me and, and physical. I don't want to put a lot of pressure on the baby right. or do anything that can put him at harm's way right. as well with things that are just too tight. Well, I want you to know this while we're live on TV. We're not, we not live on TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want you to know this. I want you to know as you continue to get bigger everywhere, I love you regardless. You. you still look beautiful every day. You Thank look you. amazing. I appreciate so, that. So don't ever feel like you look or you feel as big as a house because mm -hmm. we know this is a part of pregnancy. Right. And it's actually a beautiful thing. Like mm -hmm. seeing your belly grow and seeing you know, you, you get bigger is mm -hmm. a beautiful thing because, you know, we've been together for so long. This is something so brand new to us. So right. I love to see this transition and this, this complete shift of your body. Yeah. And it's really nice to see because we know that this is for a bigger and better cause. So right. this is just beautiful. So And thank you. I appreciate that because as my body's changing, you know, I have days. Overall, I feel really good. I mm -hmm. feel great. And I know that my body is a machine and I'm preparing for a baby. Yep. And so with that comes physical changes as well. But there are also days where I feel like, oh my gosh, like I can't fit my clothes. Right. And you know, you have some natural. little insecurities there and it, it, it is natural, but hearing that makes me feel really good because You're welcome. everyone wants to feel beautiful and everyone wants to hear those comments from their partner as well. You're so welcome. I and appreciate you, that. Babe. And you know, I do it all the time. Yes, this ain't just for, just for the, <laughs> just for the grab. Just say this ain't just for the YouTube, <laughs> for the YouTube, <laughs> for the YouTube. I sound old as hell. <laughs> you sound very old. I sound old as hell <laughs> and country as hell. Ain't nothing wrong with being a little country. I'm country. Hey, there we go. Come on. There's nothing wrong with a little twang, <laughs> a little, a little twang. southern twang. <laughs> Do we have any more points that we want to hit? Yes. Yeah, so the last point that I'll touch on, and obviously when we say these, when we touch on these points and things like that, nothing, you know, precedes the other. Mm -hmm. We're just free flowing as, as far as points. But I'll say the last thing is that I for sure noticed that I have more increased back pain. Mm. in the second trimester and mm. it's mostly because of course your belly's growing your belly my belly's growing my belly is sh more shifting forward just gravity <laughs> gravity the way it works it pulls you forward and there are times where i know my posture may not be the best because of my belly growing i have more of an arch in my back yeah and so it's just causing some increased back pain with that mm. so it's very important for me to stretch obviously you know that i do yeah. a lot of yoga I do a lot of walking and I make it a priority, which I actually been kind of slacking a little bit this week, but make it a priority to incorporate stretching and movement because yeah. that's really what's going to help with your back. And right. the last thing you want is to have lack of mobility, especially in your back when the baby is taking up so much space. Right. You want to be able to have um, mobility so it's comfortable for you, comfortable for the baby and you can breathe okay. Um, I know in the third trimester, it gets really rough, but if we can do anything to gradually go into all of these yeah. trimesters safely, I think that's the best route to go. Nice. I think what I'm happy to see and that I've seen that you have been doing, definitely more so in the second trimester, is being more mindful mm -hmm. of your activity levels yeah. and making sure that you're walking 30 minutes a day at least, mm -hmm. um, usually in the morning time when you walk our dog journey. Mm -hmm. And then you also walk in the afternoon sometimes with yeah. me. So sometimes you do double dosage of it, yeah. which is good. So I had noticed that you're doing a lot more activity with that, with walking and with yoga, mm -hmm. like you mentioned. For me, as the man in, in the relationship. Yeah, what is, changes have you experienced? Yeah, I haven't experienced. I mean, there's no there's no uh, changes for me personally. Um, well, there's one, but I'll let you finish. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe there is. Maybe there is. But uh, off the top of my head, there's no changes for me personally, but there's been changes I've seen in you. Mm -hmm. um, and something that you recently, or you, that you talked about just a, just a couple minutes ago, which was your appetite. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the biggest change that I've seen. <laughs> uh huh. First, first trimester. I mean, I, I would literally, ate. I would literally have to to eat on the balcony because mm -hmm. she couldn't take some of the smells oh, of whatever right. I was cooking. So I would have to eat on the balcony or have to eat 
at work or have to eat somewhere <laughs> outside of the it house. It was not happening in so, the house. Certain smells <laughs> couldn't do it. <laughs> and if I did eat in the house, the she was in the bedroom. I had the door closed, and I was like eating in the bathroom or something. Like it was, it was a whole process because any smell would just get yeah get to her. And we're in an so, apartment, so the the space right. is a little bit tighter versus if we were in a in a house. Right, you could go to another bedroom or something, but we don't really have that. You know, with being in an apartment and all the vents connect. So it's like right. the smells just seep through. <laughs> and then I wouldn't say what is a huge change. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at your mood. Your mm -hmm. mood has been pretty consistent. Yeah. Even first trimester, second trimester, and just who you are naturally. Like right. I haven't seen any crazy mood swings, which I've heard about in pregnancy. Like, yeah where people are just like so <laughs> on edge or, or just not in a good mood and just will take out their frustrations yeah. and just yell at you for no reason. Like I haven't seen any of that. Yeah. And your mood has been pretty stable, pr been pretty chill for yeah. the most part. So I'm sure all the like uh, moms out there are probably like just wait until the third trimester. Right. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But um, I'm pleasantly surprised yeah. at that aspect that your mood has been pretty mild mm -hmm. as far as like the pregnancy swings. Yeah, that just people like a talk chill about. temperament. So, yeah, I would agree. Yeah. I would agree. I feel like I've been pretty steady thus far. Now, there far. is sometimes that you experience headaches and you get a little irritable. Yes. A little bit. Yeah. Um, but I had a headache last I, night. <laughs> I, know, I know when to keep my distance. <laughs> sometimes you just keep your distance. You, you just you gotta put, know. You put your headphones in or you do your own thing. You get on the on your laptop or something because sometimes you just know. Like when, you, when you've when you been together as long as we have. And <laughs> you know how to read the you room. Just, you just sense the energy and you're like, all right, <laughs> this is going to be a night where, you know, we do our own thing. Yeah, I'll give her, I'll give her <laughs> I her give time. her a little space. I give her a little space. And <laughs> vice versa. True. Vice yeah. versa. Very true. Uh-huh. Well... I know that you said that you feel like you haven't experienced any changes or anything like that, but I disagree. Mm, okay. I would say Enlighten that. Me. Yes, I would say that your food concoctions have gotten <laughs> out of this world. And it I think that it only has to be Talk. attributed to pregnancy because some of the things that you make, I'm like, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> so, for example... He said, you told me that you made a wrap at lunch. And uh, I was like, oh, okay, wrap. What did you eat? And you were like, you don't want to know. And I was like, why oh, yeah, don't this, I want to know? This is pretty bad. And I was like, tell me, what did you what did you make? And you said, I had a wrap with tuna. Okay, not bad. Sardines, <laughs> honey, and cranberries. I was like, what? <laughs> I what plead, in the pregnancy craving are you going through? <laughs> I, ple I plead the fifth. And I told my sister, she was like, one of my sisters, and she said, Shane is experiencing pregnancy symptoms. Like men think that they don't go through these stages too, uh, along with the woman, but th things can change in their lifestyle as well. And the same way, you know, they say pregnant women loves the pickles and ice cream or the this and that, like these crazy food concoctions, like, Husbands can experience some of those things as well or fatigue, you know, so definitely I would say that has been you because some of the things that you have been whipping up these past few weeks, I have truly been shocked. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that one was. But that one took that the cake. One, that one definitely took the cake. And that I will say the there has been an increase in just crazy concoctions being yeah. in, in all of its usually healthy items like yeah it's like, all healthy but it's like, just like it doesn't go it together doesn't, it doesn't go together <laughs> i don't know so maybe i am experiencing this uh weird reverse what is it what, what is it does it have a term i don't i don't know if there's a term like if a, you guys know pregnancy? of a term um that where men you know experience certain symptoms or not necessarily it's not necessarily a symptom but it's just a phase as a part of pregnancy Men's food craving from pregnancy, pregnancy or something. I don't, I don't know. You guys, well, anyways, please let us know in the comments. Maybe, maybe I am <laughs> suffering from this illness. It's not. A illness. I, I don't know. But, uh, I, I know that, uh, yes, over the last like two months, I have been trying different things. Yes. I, I've been on some, uh, some weird stuff, but like all of it, try to just like pick at things that I can 
incorporate so that I could eat healthy, it's like healthy concoctions. Weird, but, they don't but make it together. healthy. <laughs> but they don't go together at but all. But hey, if you like it, that's all that matters. Yeah. I found I thought that it was wild that you ate that, but you said it was actually quite good. Well, thank you so. for putting me on full blast. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm put on. And blast now we have to end the, the episode. Time. Well, anyway, <laughs> these were just a few of the things that I and we have experienced in the second trimester thus far. Like Shane said earlier in this episode, please let us know what your experience was like. What were some of the changes that you noticed in your second trimester compared to the first? We love to hear stories. We love connecting with you guys. And with that said, we are going to sign off for today. My name is Jen. I'm Shane. And we are the Yambors. Enjoy the journey. Bye. Mm-hmm.